I'm Emma El Salamilio from BSHM Freebie. So for today's video, I'm going to discuss resume building and self-introduction, which is under the performance appraisal and career path. So let's begin with resume building. A resume building is the most important tool in applying for a job. It doesn't matter how qualified you are or how much experience you have if your resume is fully presented or badly written. A resume is a formal document that a job applicant creates to itemize his or her qualification proposition. A resume is usually accompanied by a customized cover letter in which the applicant expresses an interest in a specific job or company and draws attention to the most relevant specifics on the resume. Depending on the type of job you are applying to, there are four different formats you may apply. The four standard types of resume are the following. Chronological, Functional Resume, Combination Resume, and Targeted Resume. Chronological Resume are the most commonly used format. They list work history chronological order, starting with your most recent job down to your earliest. This resume is prepared by most employers because it provides a quick snapshot of work history with the most recent position. Next, functional resume. Unlike chronological resume, functional resume focuses on your skills and experiences first. This type of resume emphasizes the dates in which you have worked. Employment history is secondary and it's listed under the details of your skills. Third, combination resume. A combination resume let you detail both your skills and experience, while also backing this up with a chronological listing of work history. Flexible in nature, a combination resume let you tailor to your prospective job opening and tell hiring manager a story. While targeted resume, are customizing details to the prospective job you are seeking. Everything from your objective, the qualification to educational experiences mirrors the job requirement. How to build your resume Constructing a compiling and visual appealing resume can be challenging, but a few strategies can help you use your resume as a showcase of what makes you the best candidate for a job. Learning what to include in a resume can help you build a compelling and visually appealing document that could impress hiring managers. You can follow these steps to build your resume. First, add your contact information. Second, include a summary and objective. Third, add your work experiences. Fourth, include your education. Five, list relevant skills. 6. Explain your achievements and awards. 7. Use a business format. 8. Include keywords. 9. Review samples. And last, select a template. So let's move to self introduction. A self introduction explains who you are, what you do, and what others need to know about you. You should provide a self-introduction anytime you meet someone new and don't have a third party to introduce you. A good introduction will help new acquaintances learn the essential details about who you are. When you don't have a third party to provide an introduction, you must offer an informative self-introduction that's engaging and memorable. The right introduction can solidify your name and purpose for the person you're speaking to, so you can make a positive impression. This will help you create a powerful self-introduction that includes all the essential information you need to convey. Offer a self-introduction when you are beginning an interview, attending a hiring event, networking with new connections, giving a presentation, and meeting people at a trade show. How to introduce yourself professionally? Here are the four ways you can introduce yourself professionally. First, state your purpose. Second, control your body language. Third, explain why you are vulnerable. And fourth, understand the culture. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. 
Good day, I'm Binila Tahil from BSHM 3B. And I'm going to talk about the art of participating in a group discussion or modeling. So what is group discussion? Group discussion is a method instrumental in judging the team spirit, leadership qualities, and in in other managerial qualities in an individual. The first tip for an individual to perform well in a group discussion is to learn the art of participation. Then, don't expect others to force you to speak. Take the initiative. Participate and share ideas with others. Never shout. Always wait for your turn to speak. Read a lot and always keep your eyes and ears open. Be alert and dress well. So let's let's move to personal interview sessions or the mock interview sessions. Personal interview is the most important tool to judge the abilities of a person. The nature of words used, facial expressions, and body language can help in judging. The things should keep in mind during an interview. Do research. Listen carefully, answer only what is asked, then ask questions. The mock interview session is a practice interview that allows the interviewee to create effective responses and can recreate any interview environment such as in person, phone, or group interviews. So these is are the benefits of mock interview. You can practice different responses to same questions to find the best answer. May reduce the nervousness you, ex- you experience during this part of job research process. So how are you going to prepare for a mock interview? First, dress appropriately. Then mimic the interview settings. Choose the right interviewer, then bring your resume and other necessary materials. Take your time answering questions. Research the company. Reviews the interview criteria and then record it.